The lack of knowledge about vitamin B12 deficiency is astounding, especially when you consider the number of elderly that are afflicted now, and with the graying of society, that number will steadily increase. Robert Achmet, MD, board member, American Society on Aging. An elderly woman comes into the emergency department, bruised and shaken after a frightening fall. X-rays revealed a fracture in her right arm, but the tiny fragile 89-year-old had more problems than a broken bone. She was confused, made little sense when she spoke, and couldn't tell the doctor the date or time. She walked slowly and unsteadily, with a wide-based gait, as though she couldn't tell where her feet were. She looked thin, pale, and malnourished, and she needed to wear adult incontinence briefs. She had previously been diagnosed with dementia. Luckily for her, the doctor on shift ordered a serum B12 and it came back 156 pg per milliliter, revealing a B12 deficiency. Her low B12 levels could explain her symptoms, the fall, confusion and memory loss, abnormal gait, pallor and incontinence, yet none of her previous doctors had ever checked her B12 levels. Obviously they just figured that she was old and had Alzheimer's. Being old isn't easy. Being an elderly patient is even more challenging. That's because the medical profession, like the public, tend to stereotype seniors. Saying that seniors are drifty. They forget a lot. They fall a lot. They have aches and pains everywhere. They're getting senile in their old age. But these problems aren't normal or typical. When we see them in a patient who's 20, 30, or 40, we usually put in much more effort because of the age. But when a 70-year-old complains of forgetfulness, depression, or incontinence, medical professionals too often say, that's to be expected in old age. As a result, vast numbers of seniors suffer unnecessarily from problems that go undiagnosed and untreated, frequent falls, difficulty in walking, memory lapses, depression, and crippling aches and pains, simply because doctors fail to look for their causes. If we take note of these problems, all too often, we simply say, it's just a new symptom of your existing medical conditions. We blame leg pains on diabetes, or arthritis and falls on failing vision or poor reflexes. We dismiss depression as a normal response to losing a spouse or a friend, and say memory lapses are simply part of aging. But when we ignore aging patients suffering as normal, we consign many patients to nursing homes or even to death when they have treatable problems. One of the most common problems in people over 60 is vitamin B12 deficiency. Seniors are a high-risk group for severe B12 deficiency for several reasons. 30% of this high-risk group develop atrophic gastritis or inflammation and wasting of the stomach lining. This drastically decreases their stomach acid levels needed to free B12 from animal proteins, so that the B12 can be absorbed. Doctors commonly treat elderly patients' stomach upset and indigestion with drugs such as Prevacid, Prilosec, Zantac, Pepsid, Asifex, Nexium, and Protonix, and seniors frequently dose themselves with over-the-counter antacids. Unfortunately, these medications reduce stomach acid even more, causing B12 levels to drop even further. In addition, many seniors eat poorly, and those who live on limited budgets often forego vitamin supplements and healthy meats the primary dietary source of B12, because they can't afford them. Older individuals frequently lose interest in food, especially if they live alone and have to prepare it themselves, or find it challenging to eat due to indigestion or sore mouths. Many have trouble chewing their food because of bad teeth or poorly fitting dentures, which again, makes them avoid meat. A high percentage of seniors have a history of gastric or intestinal surgeries, or of radiation treatment for cancers of the abdominal or pelvic organs, either of which can dramatically increase the risk of having dangerously low B12 levels. Many elders suffer, not from an age-related problem in extracting and absorbing B12, but from pernicious anemia which can be misdiagnosed for many years. Pernicious anemia results from the inability of the small intestine to absorb vitamin B12, leading to a decrease in red blood cells. One case witnessed involved a 77-year-old woman with symptoms so advanced that she'd been placed under hospice care. Doctors misdiagnosed her increasing motor problems for years, eventually labeling them as multiple sclerosis when she was 72. When seniors start showing symptoms of B12 deficiency, their doctors often mask these symptoms with drugs, Detrol for incontinence, Aricept or Namenda for Alzheimer's-like deterioration. 
Haldol or Risperdal for psychotic behavior. Prozac, Zoloft, Effexor, or Surzone for depression. Paxil, Xanax, or Ativan for anxiety, without ever determining their cause. This makes patients feel better, but not for long. That's because the damage caused by the deficiency is still eating away at their brains, nervous systems, and cardiovascular systems. It's ironic that in the name of cost containment, doctors often prescribe expensive drugs to treat symptoms that could be eliminated by inexpensive high-dose vitamin B12 supplementation. It costs more than $1,200 a year for Namenda, often prescribed for patients with dementia due to undiagnosed B12 deficiency, or the over $2,000 per year tab for Neurontin, often used to treat numbness and leg pains that can be caused by B12 deficiency. These drugs are penny-wise and pound-foolish, for yet another reason. They often allow B12 deficiency symptoms to progress, undiagnosed and untreated, to the point where patients need expensive hospital or nursing home care. How many seniors suffer or die because B12 deficiency impairs their minds and wreaks havoc on their hearts, blood vessels, nervous system, and immune system? The data we've seen indicate that there are millions, enough to significantly impact medical care expenses in the United States and to affect almost every family in some way. Between 18 and 40 percent of people over the age of 60 have low serum B12 levels. That number would be much higher if they were all tested, not just some of them. This means that at least 1 in 7 people over 60, and possibly as many as 4 in 10, are at risk of suffering from nerve, brain, heart, and blood vessel damage caused by an often, silent, B12 deficiency. If you, a loved one, or a friend are over the age of 60, please have your doctors measure your serum B12 every time you have your checkup. This is probably the most important blood marker that needs to be assessed. If you enjoyed this video, please hammer that subscribe button, like the video, and click on the notification bell so you can receive a heads up when we post a new video.